some point one of them might start two in a row but at this point it's not broken so he's not going to fix it ready for the opening faceoff minnesota and the visiting white controlled the draw kaprizov tried to throw it out in front and it was intercepted by pareko chen down low it comes to walker another great chance and a goal with the rebound the puck was just hanging there at the top of the crease and Barbashev whacked it in for a 1-0 St. Louis lead. And when Chen turns up, Walker continues to the net. The wild move by John Barbashev as he one-touches that puck to Walker. Walker strongly to the net, and when Hartman cleans out Walker, Barbashev, who started that play high in the offensive zone, comes in late. That puck will sit right on the tee for him. Thank you very much. And that's goal 24 for Ivan Barbashev. It pushes everyone down in the lineup, but Ben's in right now. There's great depth on defense, and there's a goal for Ryan Hartman. Right off the faceoff, he found himself all alone at the bottom of the right circle, and he roofed it over the arm of Huso for a Minnesota goal that ties the game at one. This puck's going to bounce around on the faceoff, and Zuccarello keeps it alive, but it ends up just bouncing around. Kaprizov might get a touch on it as it goes over to Hartman. Hartman's standing there all by himself, and once he stops it, he goes straight. And that's because St. Louis' own Joe Buck is here with his family today. Great to see Joe. We wish him well. Welcome him to... ESPN out in front. Joe Buck and all the partisans will cheers. St. Louis has reclaimed the lead. Goals in four straight games. Tarasenko starts this rush out with Butchnevich, but Point Pareko is going to jump into the rush, and when he takes it out to the backhand, he slides it all the way through. Brodeen left. Tarasenko on the back door to try and come to the middle of the ice. He probably didn't need to go there. When he leaves, that leaves Tarasenko. Well, they're still in playoff position in the West. Two big points for them. Here's Kaprizov trying to get ahead of Pareko. Kaprizov stops. That's the post by Huso. Good work by Pareko to ride him all the way into the offensive end. Cruz, one-timer over the head of Talbot. In five seconds, they'll get Middleton back. Cross ice pass and a goal! David Perron off a beautiful feed from Braden Shin. It is a power play goal. And a 3-1 St. Louis lead. This is what you talked about here. The puck is not cleared. It never leaves the zone again. Beautiful play. Fastest skater competition at the All-Star game in Las Vegas. Free puck for O'Reilly. Saad heads for the net. Saad down low. Scores! Backhander through the legs of Talbot. Four goals for St. Louis for a franchise record. 11 straight games. In the middle of the ice from O'Reilly. And he finds Brandon Saad going right out. Jost doesn't react quick enough to get back. The pass goes between the skate and stick of Brodeen. But that puck got flipped out to the St. Louis blue line. It was so quickly turned over. Minnesota didn't get into position defensively. And O'Reilly and Thomas are on the verge of 20 goals as well. Here's Buchnevich behind that. Right out in front. Thomas a great chance. Shot it right into the midsection. Now... One man short for another five seconds. Chen looking for a tip. Talbot makes the save and cover. Talbot has actually played pretty well today. I know he's given up the four goals, but there he makes a difficult save on the... One more, he'll have the single season wild record all by himself. Already has the point record that was held by Gabbert. Wolagoski in deep again, and a tip in goal. Hartman, a beautiful pass. Right out of the stick of Kaprizov and right on cue, there it is, goal number 43. And he has the single season Minnesota record all by himself. And Kaprizov will get to the front of the net, get a yeah. stick on the ice, and on the other side of Scandella, that puck.
Oh, it's actually, you know what? It is Scandell. It's not Caprizo. Which is why he looked away. Exasperatedly toward the sky. So that'll be Hartman's second. It's 31st of the season. Holdy into the zone. 21 year old rookie from Millis, Massachusetts. Got it down low to Fiala. Here's a one timer and a goal. Freddie Goudreau rips one past Huso, who never saw it coming. And all of a sudden, it's a one goal game with a long way to go. 15 19 remaining. Had him back in the American League in the Nashville organization. This play starts with Matthew Boldy showing his strength on the puck. He keeps his feet to keep the play alive. And then the wild bench explodes here as now it's 4 3. And Play down low by Cairo. Good stick by Middleton. Centering pass! And a beautiful save by Talbot. Tired Minnesota players on the ice and a pass by Thomas to an empty point. He wants to get off and goes off. Gooch Navich scores! He was all by himself, so let it fly and it got past Talbot. Huge goal for St. Louis. They're back up by two. Everybody in a career year. The puck's inadvertently passed out of the zone. This is going to continue Robert Thomas's point streak, even though it's a pass to nobody. And he sinks this pass. Middleton off the shoulder of Tal. To Goudreau, and now back at the line, Brodeen. Cross ice for Boldy. Eight seconds on the St. Louis penalty. Hartman hitting for a hat trick. Rebound goal! Marcus Foligno makes it a one goal game again with exactly six minutes to go. With the shot here for Hartman, so he's waiting and finally he's gonna, gonna have to shoot it because there's nowhere else to go. This puck bounces out of the catching glove of Billy Hu, so that's a nice backhand to forehand by Marcus Foligno and like everybody else in the game it seems today, he extends his career high with his 22nd goal on the power play. 14 minutes even on the power play goal by Polino. There's 20 seconds. And a tie goal! Right out in front. That one will count for sure for Kaprizov. His 43rd. Franchise record and a game tying goal. What a comeback by the Minnesota Wild. I mean, it's back and forth. The Bruins turn the puck over to Zuccarello. Steals that pass from Colton Pareko. Zuccarello's got this stick, it's like a pole ball. He reaches in to knock it out of the air, and Kaprizov does not miss. Not content just to clear it. They want one more shot of the goal in the final seconds. And the shot's over the net. Thomas plays it away, and we're going to hit for overtime. This is what's evolved in three-on-three. Three. There's just no rush to attack the net. If you don't have a lane, you go back and reload. Buchnevich has come on now. Buchnevich down low. Throws it out in front. Goal! Braden Shen wins it in overtime for St. Louis. Time. And now he is the game winner today. And the Blues have gone and reloaded out in center. Remember, they didn't have an initial attack. Thomas and Tarasenko leave the ice. Puchnevich gets outside of Eriksson Ek and then throws it to the front.